This is the La Cibili Micro Cibili Aleva, a vintage machine, and a very nice example. We have this in for a, uh, a rebuild. It's quite beautiful with the deep red. This is a 220 machine, I'm running it on a transformer. Uh, as you can see, this beautiful aluminum kettle, they're quite large, much bigger than many people think they are. Right now I have it up and running. Uh, this is the early model. Uh, which has two switches, one on each side. This switch runs the 1000 watt element, which is now on and up and steaming. I'll go ahead and turn it off. The switch on the other side controls the 300 watt element for your, your constant temperature for brewing. Uh, the pressure is regulated by, there's a small chimney, this is under this cap, there's a small chimney in the top with a steel ball bearing that sits on it. So you can see when the machine moves around, the bearing moves. See, now I've reduced the temperature to extent. For steaming, you come on to full power um, until you see, see the, the steam vent. These, this style of machine with the uh, constant steam off, sometimes are known for not being really good for uh, uh, to have a real powerful uh, steam froth. Oh, I've unplugged, I've unplugged my transformer down here, excuse me. Alright, there we go. I think I'm back on. Okay. Uh, but, we just do a short demonstration that, that we do have steam. You have to get really a lot of power going and get the machine up and, and with full steam to get it to go off. It's a spring piston. And interestingly enough, it has an adjustable format that you can, I'm back to low power, that you can adjust the size of the shot by adjusting the length of this first nut. Right now I have it set so the bottom of the piston is right at the bottom of the cylinder. It has a, has a cylinder sleeve which inserts in the bottom. It has the old style uh, dispersion screen which attaches with small nuts. And so there's you, you can't updose uh, on the machine very much. Uh, the viewpoint port through the front uh, shows the water level. The basically I've prepared a basket. It's a 51 millimeter. Is that once our, our temperature is up, we lock in and it locks in straight to the front. And as you can see, find my cups is that when you first come down, you get all the way to the bottom and hold. Now the the pressure of the boiler is in continuity uh, with the cylinder all the way through the coffee basket. And we'll hold it for a little while for pre-infusion, and it is infusing at pressure. come off it has a has a, a classic uh, uh, a lever movement on the piston the spring is very strong on these machines and once you you adequately uh, handle your temperature profiling on them they make an excellent cup of espresso that is the Marco Cimbali